So far we have seen Jesus pleading with people to come back to God. That Jesus even had to make that appeal is down to where he assumes we're all at to begin with. He says it's about a relationship, something intimate, something for which we were made, but one in which we've turned our back by ignoring or despising God. We saw it in the story Jesus told about the brothers. For both of them, only a renewed relationship with their father would restore the brokenness. But there's more to it than that. God isn't just hurt, he's also angry. He cares about what we do wrong. When we fail to reach out of our own little lives to help another person when they really need us, when we've done something that we deeply regret, it'll be different for every one of us. But God makes sure that there will always be justice. I know that it's deeply uncomfortable to think that there might just be a God out there who will hold us all accountable for what we do. So I'm not saying this lightly. I'm saying it because without getting that picture which Jesus paints of humanity being broken, we'll never get what he did to fix it. Because in what happens to Jesus, God the Father ensures that the justice for what we've done is met, and yet at the same time, that our relationship with him is restored. God chose to forgive us, but forgiveness had a price. What's stunning is that in Jesus, God paid that cost himself. Rather than directing all his anger and his justice against us, he takes it upon himself and forgives us. Luke makes a point of how Jesus was humiliated that day. He was publicly executed, naked, in front of jeering crowds. But the shame and the torture penetrated even deeper. Between midday and 3 p.m., the sun stopped shining. It was a supernatural thick darkness and it was an image that God was using for us to see that Jesus was paying the penalty that we deserve. It was an echo of the absolute despair Jesus endured in being separated from his father whilst he died alone. Jesus had pleaded with people to understand that through him, God was offering a way to a whole new sort of relationship. Jesus didn't die without effect. He died so that through him, we can now come back into a relationship with God. Do you know his love?